What's up everyone, welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT to quickly and effectively come up with content ideas for your blog. So this could be for your blog, this could be for videos, really any types of content that you're creating. And I've picked a pretty boring niche where there you may not think of a ton of different blog content ideas, and that's a mattress website. So in my previous video, I went over how to come up with an SEO keyword list specifically for mattress keywords here. In the video after that, I went over keyword planning and how to come up with the different types of content that we need to create for each of these keywords that we found in our keyword research list. So I went through the Google Keyword Planner, found all sorts of different keywords that we can start to target. And what we wanna do next is we wanna come up with some different content ideas. So once you've done a couple of those things, it's really easy to use ChatGPT to come up with 100 or more content ideas really in less than 10 to 20 minutes. So let's come back over here to ChatGPT. And I already started putting some prompts in here into ChatGPT. And you could do this, again, all you have to do is just change the niche here. I have a mattress website that tells people information about mattresses and sells mattresses from all of the top brands online. What are some blog content ideas that target popular mattress keywords for a blog about mattresses? So. Here are the 10 ones they gave me to get started. Ultimate guide to mattress sizes, 10 tips to choose the best mattress for your sleeping position, top five memory foam mattresses, benefits of a hybrid mattress. So you can see we have 10 different ideas right here to get started already. Now what we can do next is we can use a tool like Answer the Public. Now with Answer the Public, what you can do is I've created an account. You don't have to create an account. I've entered the keyword mattress here. So that's the one keyword I entered is mattress. I have in United States, English, clicked on search. Gave me 390 different results as far as questions, prepositions, comparisons, alphabeticals, and related. Now, if you wanna download all of this information, they're only gonna allow you to download 30 keywords if you use the free version of Answer the Public. It's a very easy way to get past that. And all we need to do is come in here copy every single keyword here. Now what I do before Matt uh, actually copying all these different keywords here is click on data. For each of these different categories, click on data, click on copy, come over to Microsoft Excel and we're gonna open up a brand new sheet and all we're gonna do here is we're gonna click on, we're just gonna enter questions and we are going to paste this data right here. It's gonna all show up in this column. Let's make sure we just paste the plain values here. So we have all of our questions here and all you need to do is just come over here to questions. We're gonna click on home, go to sort and filter and do filter, click on the drop down, say text filters, contains, and let's just say mattress. So as long as the text contains mattress, it'll get rid of everything else that's there, click on okay. And now we have all of the questions here at the top. We'll start getting into prepositions. You'll get into alphabetical keywords. What you can do next is go through some of these and just get rid of some of the things that you're not really gonna cover on your blog. So you may see things like this, our mattress covers FSA eligible. Maybe that's something I don't even wanna target on my blog, so we'll just get rid of this keyword. So go through, get rid of some of these different keywords here. And what you can do is just take 20 at a time and get 20 really good questions. As you start coming down further, you can get things like different prepositions, all sorts of different keywords from answer the public. And what you wanna do is come over here again to chat GPT. So we're gonna open up chat GPT after we went to answer the public. Can you give me blog post titles for the following questions? So I've pulled out a bunch of different questions here. You could do even more than this. I would recommend doing about 20 at a time. And if we scroll down, here are 20 different blog post titles for the questions I provided. So create a spreadsheet, go back over to Microsoft Excel, start copying and pasting some of these different questions right here or some of these different blog post content ideas right here and correlate them with some of these different questions that you're, that are being asked. Now answer the public questions aren't always perfect. How mattress Mac, what is mattresses? So you're gonna see some different questions here that don't necessarily like aren't exactly how you wanna use a blog post title. So that's where I like to say, okay, here are some blog post titles for the questions you provided and you easily have a ton of different content ideas here. So that's 21 more different content ideas. We're already up to 31 content ideas within five to 10 minutes. If we keep scrolling down, the next thing we're gonna do is use our SEO keyword list. 
So when I went through my SEO keyword list here, you can take all of the keywords starting at the top. Again, I would just do, I usually just do 20 at a time when it comes to things with chat GPT. Sometimes I'll do more than that, but if you just do 20 at a time, it's a really good starting point. And what I've done is I came down here to the keyword best. So these are all perfect keywords for blog posts, best mattress, best mattress for back pain, for side sleepers. So I actually took all of these here and came over and my prompt was, can you give me blog post ideas for the following keywords? Best mattress, best mattress for back pain. Scroll down and they gave me 41 different ideas. So in this one I did way more keywords. So there's gonna be plenty of things here that I can copy again and do the same exact thing into chat GPT, but it's really easy to come up with a ton of different content ideas for chat GPT. And you can even come in here and say, what are the 20 most popular keywords for, and they'll say here are 20 of the most popular keywords related to mattresses based on search volume data. Now, one of the things you can also do with chat GPT is you can say, let's take these keywords here, or we can even just use the same exact prompt. And we're gonna say, and can you give me search volume and keyword difficulty? So mattresses, search volume, keyword difficulty, best mattresses, search volume, keyword difficulty. So I think this data pulls directly from Google Keyword Planner because it matches up really closely with Google Keyword Planner. You could see keyword difficulty for all these keywords. Obviously this is a very competitive niche, but if we come over here, we have all of these different keywords here and just say, use these keywords right here and just say, can you give me, and you could say 30 blog post ideas for the following keywords. Okay, so 30 blog post ideas for the given keyword, the ultimate guide to mattresses. Now again, there's definitely going to be some redundancy. There's gonna be some duplicate answers here, but what you wanna do is essentially come up with a list of different keywords, use all of these best type keywords here. If we come, this is why I like using answer the public because if we come back over here to answer the public, you have all of these different keywords that you can take. So if we come over and we go to our answer the public sheet and let's just say, copy these, come back over to chat GPT. Can you give me blog post ideas for these questions? Now, if you wanna take it a step further after content ideas, you could easily have ChatGPT answer a lot of these questions for you. What mattress does Hilton use? They'll probably give you the exact brand that Hilton uses. You might have to do a little bit of research to make sure they're correct, but you can easily find a ton of different content ideas doing this. And this is for really a boring niche. I mean, there's not a ton of people looking up all sorts of these different questions about mattresses. So like. What are the secret behind Ritz Carlton's luxurious mattresses? But if let's just say 10 to 20 people search out a month, go to your website, you may have a chance to sell them a mattress on your website. Say, here's the mattress they use, or here's a very similar mattress that they use. Because you probably have people who travel a lot, who stay at some of these different luxury hotels, whether it's Marriott, Ritz Carlton, Hilton, and they want a mattress that's similar to that. So all you're trying to do is get them on your website so that you can ultimately drive them to a product page on your website and make them become a new customer. But if we just come right here, here's 15 different blog post ideas. Here's 30 different blog post ideas. Keep coming up. We have 20 more different. Uh, these are just keywords with keyword difficulty. But if we keep coming up, 41 different blog post ideas. And then you could even just ask ChatGPT, say, hey, can you just give me a bunch of different blog post ideas? Just like this, they gave me 10 different really good blog post ideas. But ultimately what you're trying to do is target keywords with your blog posts. So if you come down here and you start by using chat GPT for keyword research, I do have a video on that topic. I will put it in the link description so you can watch it. What you can do is then easily take those keywords or questions and come up with content ideas. So this is how I come up with content ideas using chat GPT and you can use the same exact process. Just come up with your keyword list, make sure that you're using a tool like Answer the Public that's gonna give you a ton of different long tail keywords. You can even use a tool like Keywords Everywhere. If we come over here and you can see I search twin mattress and keywords everywhere. If you just search mattress and then you click on find long tail keywords, this is gonna be specifically for twin mattresses but it's gonna give you probably thousands of keywords for mattresses. You can get that all into an Excel or CSV file. 
And then you can easily take those keywords, come up with all sorts of content ideas. If you wanna take it one step further to make sure you're actually targeting high search volume keywords, once you export this data, you can come over to a tool like searchvolume.io, enter one keyword per line, and they give you 800 different, you can do 800 keywords in every single given day. So completely free here. They're gonna take the search volume from Google Keyword Planner and give you that for every single keyword. Take those high search volume keywords, come back over to ChatGPT and enter them right there and say, can you give me a blog post idea for each individual keyword? So it's a great way to come up with all sorts of different ideas for content ideas. And then all you need to do is go through these one by one, make sure that your content is all unique. Obviously there's going to be some duplicates here, the top 10 best mattresses for side sleepers. They probably gave me that idea a little bit further up, but you can see to come up with a hundred different blog post content ideas very quickly, you can use chat GPT. And then you can also use chat GPT to help you write that blog post or create an outline for you. So we'll go over that in follow up videos. But if you have any questions here, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.